Hello everyone, Brad here from the Hogshead Tavern, connected to the Three Broomsticks, so it's kind of both. But, I figured I'd try something different since it's the 4th of July. I have a hotel, and they open Isla Nubar. I'm going to try and get a drink from each of the places that have a unique one. So I started with the Dragon Scale here. And uh, this is a beer. It's actually imported from Florida, same with Duff. So I'm going to get this. I'm going to get a Duff over at Duff Beer, obviously. And then I'll get something from uh, Isla Nubar, kind of like a drinking around the world equivalent of Universal. So I'll try them all out and let you know what I think. First of all, this is pretty expensive. This is like 14 bucks for this beer. But it is a hefty pour. Um, I'll also film some stuff in between. And we'll start with my favorite pastime, which is drinking a Dragon Scale and walking through Hogsmeade or Diagon Alley. There's no Diagon Alley here, so by default, we're going to go to Hogsmeade. So I'll drink this, walk around, and see what kind of cool stuff we can find. Yep, it's nice to just relax with the Dragon Scale in Hogsmeade. It really helps you take in all the details. Like how the snow glitters on the ceilings with the icicles, all the windows they had to make. This is always a good, uh, kind of a mini bar. I'm just now realizing that's, that really looks like it's pouring liquid, but there is liquid in there. It's just a really thin film of it. That looks really cool though. It almost had me fooled. Here's the Hermione dress and it's floating. As you may know, you can buy this in the store now. It's a cat made of uh, a tape measure. That's something I never noticed. Every time I walk around with a dragon scale, I always notice and find new things. This is a rare scene. This whole section's empty. It's 4th of July. It's late in the day. No one's in here. But you can get all of your Quidditch gear for all of your favorite houses. I just love all the detail they put above you in every store and really Hogsmeade and Diagon Alley. And most of it just gets overlooked. I always like that they have these three brooms here and they're tied down because otherwise they would just fly away. Ugh. Don't touch it. Plenty of robes and scarves and ties for each house. Sarah and myself are Ravenclaws, though. And we have the ties. I actually have a Slytherin tie as well. You know what my favorite thing in here is? Not only that they have a lot of character wands, even obscure ones, but just how the shelves are curved. It just really adds to the Harry Potter aesthetic. I do wish uh, Galaxy's Edge would have, like, lightsabers for more characters than just the main ones. Because here, you could find just about anybody. Although Disney's the main ones doing it, Universal does it too, but Force Perspective, this is by far, even to this day, I think, the best example of it. They do such an amazing job with this castle, making it seem like it's really far away. Ouch, 55 minutes for Flight of the Hippogriff, or Flying Unicorn, you know, I, I get him confused. It's what it used to be down in Florida. That's a long time for that little ride, considering it's probably one of the shortest rides they have here. Everyone gets their photos in front of the Hogwarts Express. But it's even more impressive when you walk back here and take a whole look at the thing. No one ever walks back here. Now, of course, unfortunately here in Hollywood, we don't have the uh, actual Hogwarts Express to take us to Diagon Alley, but this is still good to look at. All right, that's gonna do it for the Dragon Scale, the first drink in this uh, Drinking Around Universal. Uh, that was again from Hogsmeade, so I stayed in the area and explored it a bit. Now we're going to head to Springfield, and I'm going to get a Duff beer. We'll check out some of Springfield. Now as far as these 4th of July fireworks go, 
I'm wondering where they're going to shoot them off from because it says being in Springfield is not a viewing area. And it shows in blue that the main production central area is a viewing area and so is the lower lot, but not the escalator to get down there. So I'm a little confused. I, I feel like you would be able to see them from any of these places. But I guess we'll find out tonight and see uh, where they're actually shooting them off from because again, this is the first time they're doing it. How you doing, Officer Wiggum? If I had too much beer, he doesn't think so. He's too busy eating a donut. Here's the Moe's menu. You can upgrade to a 24 ounce beer for 50 cents. All right, we're here for the Moe's Tavern. I've got a very full Duff beer. This is a 24 ounce one. It costs a little bit more, but well worth it. We're gonna go ahead and explore around the rest of Springfield and see what all we can find today. Here they have all the drinks uh, right here. There's a Flaming Mo, which is a, a shot of something. This is the picture of it. So that's always an option too, not just beer. I like that they have the old school TV playing classic Simpsons. Here's Barney, who's disappointed that he's on a beer. But luckily, I have some that I could share with him. I love that the pool table is an actual eating table. It's a nice touch. Here's the menu at Cletus's Chicken Shack. They have a chicken platter, or platter uh, chicken tenders, chicken and waffle sandwich, which is amazing, but it'll kind of end your day early. Grilled chicken and a salad. I like the two-headed chicken they have up here too. Now here's the downside, or down, downstairs for Cletus's Chicken Shack. I'm wondering if the TV is supposed to be angled. But if you go upstairs, all three restaurants connect. Moe's, Krusty's, and Cletus's Chicken Shack. So let's take a look upstairs. This is a nice place to be late at night because no one's ever up here. All the kids' pajamas. This is like quite a large dining room. And then it connects into another dining room, which is the upstairs to Krusty's. And then it connects to a third dining room, which has a lot of cool characters. The downside to this one, though, is you don't get any of the awesome Simpsons cartoons. And these ones, you get a lot of the best moments of Simpsons. So it's for you to choose what is more important. All right, I figured the best place to start is at the beginning. Here's Springfield. And we're going to go against all of the traffic, walking on through. So you've got the comic shop, baseball card shop. So now that we're back outside, we're going to check out some of these places. There's three of them right here. So you've got Lard Lad, which is a huge line for. I'll probably insert some uh, footage from earlier in the day so you can see the actual donuts here. Pizza is probably the one place that doesn't have a line going outside. Suds McDuff's Hot Dog House. Now, if you want a uh, Duff beer and can't get into Moe's because it's too busy, you could always turn around and come to the Duff Beer Garden. Not only does this have the uh, brewery up here with an actual bar that you could sit at, but they have the Bumblebee Man taco truck. And that's over here as well. I've never eaten anything up here, but they look very good. You see they have carne asada tacos, chicken, and carnitas. I've never noticed this, but it's a good touch for setting up the Simpsons ride. They have Sideshow Bob escaping from prison. Here's the power plant with the button you shouldn't push. The kid just pushed it. The things start to rattle. I never noticed that this bench had Millhouse just sitting in it. Oh, they have Krusty out. I've always seen Sideshow Bob, but never Krusty. <laughs> How's it going, Krusty? Hey! <laughs> He's excited. Oh, thumbs up. That's what I'm talking about. 
See you later. Love your burger. There he is, my favorite character of all the Simpsons, Ralph Wiggum. Wonder who they're looking for. Could it possibly be Chief Wiggum? Because he's just right around the corner. He's not that hard to find. There's a lot who love the Starway view as you're going down to the lower lot. But I think this one is the best from the studio tour. I say that because there's the clock tower. You can see the actual uh, Hill Valley like courtyard from up here. So that is pretty neat because you don't always go back there on the studio tour. Sometimes you do, sometimes you don't. It all depends. Next person in line, Roger Smith. Are you gonna go mess with the Simpsons today? <laughs> yeah, I figured you'd think about it. Seems like you do that a lot. Yeah. It's all right. You can think on it. <laughs> all right. Well, you have a good day. Good luck with your plans. Oh, you want to hug? <laughs> all right, Sideshow Bob. You have a good day. How did Maggie get in a store window? What's the story behind that? She's just kind of in the display case. I can't believe I never noticed this, but it's such a subtle detail that I feel like it's not my fault. Krusty's pupils are moving. They slowly circulate. Why is the Simpson ride being propelled by a spring? What circumstance of events caused it to be like that instead of on a track? Huh. Here they go, and they're off. Oh, they're all about tied. I got my money on six. And... Hey, I guessed it right. In case you all haven't been here in a while, when you exit the Simpsons ride, they now have a photo section. So at the end, when Krusty usually hits the button just to shock the uh, the riders, now he has a camera out, pushes the button, it shocks the riders, but he actually, there's a picture taken. And you can purchase your ride photos here. It seems to be quite popular, actually. From this angle, Krusty is staring really hard at Hogwarts Castle. Like, really hard. He's just staring in, intently at it. All right, the Duff beer is finished, so it's time to head down to the lower lot to Isla New Bar. See what they have available. I don't know what they have on their menu, but I'm excited to find out. So we'll go down there and see what they got. You know it's a long way down when they have snacks halfway in between. Since Jurassic World the ride isn't open, we're going to do part three and go to Isla New Bar. I don't know what I'm getting yet, but I'll let you know when I do. Uh, just came out of the Isla Noon Bar. I walked into the uh, Jurassic uh, restaurant just because uh, I needed a place to film. This is what's uh, incredible to me. This was like 20 bucks. They don't even give you an option of having the drink in a regular cup or a souvenir mug. They just give it to you anyway. Compared to Disney's Trader Sam mugs that are like 40 bucks with the drink, this is a steal. Now I will say it is more of a plastic mug, the other ones are like porcelain and Disney. This is awesome. And you get like a nice little flower in there. It's a great touch. And a bamboo straw. Um, haven't tried it yet, so let's see how it is. That's a really good drink. Really good way to finish this whole uh, drinking around Universal thing off. Here's the backside of Isla New Bar. And you can see the four beers they have on tap. All right, so we finished the drinking around Universal. That was a fun little test there to get a drink from all the places. And it ended with uh, Jurassic World The Ride opening. I did not expect that, especially that late in the day. But now we're here for the fireworks. I think they've already started. This is the first time they're doing the July 4th fireworks. So let's get into the park and see what we can see. It looks like they underestimated the amount of people that would be coming back into the park at night. Because all these are closed. 
There's a line to come for security. Universal Studios at night. Fun fact, this was the original uh, Universal Studios Orlando sign back in the 90s when they opened there. And they brought it here. A lot of people are watching the fireworks from the red carpet out front. We'll see if we can get a better view inside the park. So I saw fireworks coming in here and I thought it already started, but they just announced that it starts in 10 minutes. So maybe that was like a little mini pre-show we were getting. It's kind of exciting that they're, uh, you know, that's just a pre-show. Uh, the minions are back. Thank you. 